going on, everybody? I'm Brent. Hey. This is PJ. <laughs> Welcome to the Home Video Hustle. I'm out of it. Hustle, <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> hustle. PJ lost his mind. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, we just talked <laughs> about some shit. Yes, we did. Uh, <laughs> doing these in reverse order, kind of <laughs> here, folks. Um, PJ. Yes. This week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man I got We just recorded this <laughs> I, No I'm not gonna tell them Because they don't know It's not coming out yet Never mind. Oh. Um When they hear this They oh, won't yeah. know until that next Wednesday I'm not telling y'all We recorded next week's episode Before this one And I'm not telling y'all What it is But when y'all see what it is Next Wednesday Y'all be like Oh okay, that's why understand. They, That's why they a little bit Razzled right now <laughs> Razzled dazzling Look motherfuckers Hustle motherfucking hustle there you We're go. back there you Okay go. Get the fun mindset Alright Alright PJ. Yes. This week. Yes. We're talking Jaws. Yes, we are. And this is the first Brent and PJ haven't seen. Bam, 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 bam. Neither one of us have seen this before. Drop one of Clues Bombs for uh, Jaws. Ha! <laughs> 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 huh. What year did this come out? 1975. A good year. Good Two year. hours and four minutes long. And did we'll- not feel like it. There's that review. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that surprised nobody. I'm, we're going to make a note of this. So I usually don't say what ratings these movies are, but we got to talk about this because this shit is PG. Mm-hmm. Costs $9 million, PJ. Mm-hmm. To this day, it has made $470.7 million. Wow. That's now, good. that's a hit. That's good. And, of course, directed by yes. Steven Spielberg. Mm-hmm. First time on the show, if I can think. That's the first Spielberg movie, right? Probably. Written by Peter Benchley and Carl Gottlieb. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but fuck it. Yeah. Starring Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, Lorraine Gary, and some other motherfuckers. <laughs> I ain't feel like writing nothing else. Now, PJ. Yes. Why had you not seen Jones before? Thought it was going to be whack, for real. Mm-hmm. And I just... You found out. Yeah. Never <laughs> seen it. I had seen, I had seen The Last Hour. I had seen because the movie's basically split into two parts as we'll talk about. Yes. First hour is like them on the beach, you know, dealing with the shark, and the second half of the movie is them out on the sea trying to hunt the shark. Mm-hmm. I had seen that part. I had never seen none of the beginning part. So now I have seen all of it. There you go. Thanks to the home video hustle. In completion. Damn right. Now PJ. Yes. Right from the moment this movie starts, you got your ears, you know, kind of perk up. Mm-hmm. You're like, hmm. Mm. You hear that Jaws music. Yes, and I you... did not know that was that. Yeah. That's what this was from. Iconic. And PJ, you yes. know who did this music? Who? John Williams. You know what other music he did? No. The Star Wars music. I can tell now by the use of the, uh, what are those, strings? or hmm, What, what? So. strings? He's used to, because Star Wars has a lot of strings. Yep. Yes. And, um, fun fact. Okay. I read this online. Oh, shit. When John Williams brought the score to Steven Spielberg, he laughed and said, Ha that's funny. Yo, where the real score at? Oh. He didn't like this shit originally. Oh. And he's like, nigga, that is the real score. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, just put, try it out, man. Just put the shit in there. Fun fact. Another fun fact. Okay. Spielberg is cool with two other directors. Ooh, I might. I might ooh. Hold mm. on. Is it? <laughs> mm. Fuck. Is it Martin Scorsese and George Lucas? All friends with Steven Spielberg. Mm. I want to say Scorsese. They were playing with like the little mechanical shark, and Steven Spielberg was back there like fucking. With it. He was like, "Hey, you know, George Lucas, put your head in there." And he put his head in there, mm-hmm. and he closed the mouth on it, and it got stuck. <sighs> and George Lucas, as you know, is the guy that made Star Wars. Mm-hmm. So the guy that made Star Wars almost died probably because of Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> and this is seventy five PJ. So if George Lucas had died, you would not have had to watch Star Wars. Damn it. <laughs> Curse you, life. Ah. Couldn't have took him a little sooner. Does <laughs> that mean? Is this? Slightly. Damn. Uh. Oh, I seen some shit that made me fucking die laughing. Good. There's an interview with George Lucas. He's talking about this movie called Red Tails. You ever seen that? Red Tails. I think it's about like the Tuskegee Airmen, right? Yeah. With, with, yeah. You know who made that? Who? George Lucas. Really? I'm dead ass serious. He made that. Oh, he, and he did a good job. And he was talking about how there, there, before that there had never really been a movie with a predominantly all black cast. And I lost my shit when what he said that. What the fuck? Where has he I been got, during the whole I, 90s? In the 70s. <laughs> yeah, right in the 70s. Fuck. That shit, I mean, I was done when he said that because I was like, what? Because <laughs> I was watching the um, Red Letter Media. 
they were you know they always be fucking with George Lucas all the time mm-hmm. with their Star Wars reviews and they they had played that clip and then they just put up posters of all these different movies and shit like what the fuck are you talking about man they had me Come crying on, man. I thought about you when he said that I was like oh PJ would fucking roll if he heard nah. that he, he didn't think that one out no not at all it was okay <laughs> but but we're talking about Spielberg today yes and PJ yes you seen a lot of Spielberg movies no some have you seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind no me neither have you seen E.T.? Yes. I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen any of the Indiana Jones movies? One. Which one? I don't know. Shit. Uh, <laughs> they were running through a tomb. That's all I know with the rocks. <laughs> That's a lot of them. That's oh, with them. the rocks that, that oh, was with like the chasing, chasing Yeah, yeah. That's the first one. That's Raiders of the Lost Ark. There you go. Bam. Uh, you ever seen Minority Report? Yes. Okay, I, haven't, I actually haven't seen that one. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a Philip K. Dick movie. I'm slipping. <laughs> Philip K. Dick is the dude that wrote Blade Runner and shit. Oh, okay. So I should have seen that movie, but I haven't. I don't know. He did a lot of shit, though. I don't know. He don't really do a lot of sci-fi stuff right now. He do a lot of like, true stories and shit now. True stories. I think that movie coming out called The Post. I think that's Spielberg. The Post. You know, Tom Hanks flip coming out. Oh, it's Tom I actually like Tom Hanks. I was about to say, it's something that you probably watch. Yeah. Did you like Captain Phillips and all that yes, shit, right? Yes, I do. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. Get your bitch ass up. I kill you. I cook you. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, all right, yeah, but fuck it. Yeah, like I said, the movie started. Jaws starts out with Jaws music. Mm-hmm. Oh. Jaws, and then they have some kids at a beach oh. passing a little hippie stuff. I'm glad around. you said that because I wrote in my notes, I just put in like quotations, securing attempt. Yes. I didn't know what the fuck that meant exactly. Yes. He's That's a, right, but he's trying to get that coop coop. Yeah, so he, uh, two, a guy and a girl break away from the group. You know, they're singing songs, kumbaya, all that shit. Mm-hmm. And they go to the other side of the beach, and the girl is running. <laughs> And uh, if he's fucked up or something. Like, he's telling her, hold on, I don't know if he's, like, weight. drunk or something. Or if yeah, he's just a fucking clumsy bumble fuck or something. Like, oh. <laughs> but he could not keep up. So she goes ahead, you know, strips, goes out into the water. Skin Come on. It. The water's fine. Yeah. He's so it. am I. Hey. Yeah. You start, she's in there. You see mm-hmm. her little feet moving. Mm-hmm. POV shot. Mm. da 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 Chop your ass. He's death. Blood, murder. But the thing about it was, I don't remember if there was blood. I remember asking you something about oh. she got bit, but there was no blood. I, mean, I do that remember was, that she didn't have. Blood. Yeah, that fuck. You know, I was like, where the she blood? She dragged at? him down. I think she was. He might have just been like messing. Because it was like she. Because she, she was like she help. joked. She joked real hard. Like, oh, then she yeah. was like, yo, what was that? And she joked again. And I'm like, it can't be the shark. If the shark was biting you and yoking you, you would be fucking screaming. Yeah. You wouldn't be like, oh, what was that? She might have got nudged or something. Yeah, maybe it was head button her. Like, hey, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So during that time, for real, she's screaming for her life. I don't know how my man's didn't he hear her. He was like sleep or passed but out. But yeah, he had, he had, after all that running, I guess, after trying to pre secure the pussy, it was too much work for him. So he just passed too out. Too much work, and he said, fuck this shit. I'm securing some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> secure the Z. There you go. Oh, shit. Put that on a t shirt. Right. So, you know, the next day he comes, runs to the, uh, what's his name? The sheriff, Ooh, or whatever he is. Sheriff, fuck, what was his name? Uh, Brody. Brody, that was yes, his name. Yes, I don't remember his first name. I know Brody. Brody. But oh, before he runs up, though, he, um, I think they introduced him and his family first. Oh, he yeah. Got, like, he's got the wifey, yeah, two kids, the kids. They got the house by the beach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's a nice, yeah, wholesome family the, man. Yeah. It was something where like, he was scared of the fucking water, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, because eventually a third, somebody asked him in the movie like, "Why the fuck do you live out here then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you like it's a fucking answer. beach chief? It's only an island from the water." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He, he did say that. Yeah. I was thinking like, did he say that? <laughs> um, and yeah, and they, the place there is called Amity Island. Yes, but the body washes ashore. And uh, it reminded me of two. I, I mentioned this to PJ. He know what the fuck I was talking about. It reminded me of Twin Peaks. You know, Laura Palmer body out there by the mm. water, but she was wrapped in plastic, mm. though. But so Damn. slightly different. You know, dude come up and tell him what happened, and Brody got beef with the mayor because it's supposed to be like I think the Fourth of July yeah. popping off. Yep. And they had this big celebration where they make all their tourist money. Yes. Brody like, yo, it's a shark out there. We need to shut the fucking beach down. And the mayor's like, nah, bro. Fuck that shit. It's money to be made. <laughs> Paper chase. <laughs> Fuck that shark. He said, tell him it was a barracuda, but anything yeah. but a shark. Yep. There you go. But then, of course, you cut back to the beach. People out there. You know, even Brody out there chilling with wifey and his son mm-hmm. out there. Somebody out in the water. Fucking shark comes. <laughs> bites that ass. Yes. Kills that ass. <laughs> and your boy Brody just looking. It just zooms in on it's his face. baby boy, right? Somebody's boy. That Somebody's little boy. teenager yeah. boy or something. Got chewed the fuck up. Mm-hmm. It was like, a, oh, yeah, yeah. Older when they come back later. That's yep. what 
Yeah, bro. He's like, get the fuck out of the water. Well, he doesn't say get the fuck out, but he should have said get the fuck out of the water. <laughs> so now they are they go to the, you know, everybody's like, hey, let's put a reward out for the shark. Let all these, you know, motherfuckers fishermen. fishermen go out there and hunt them and we'll pay them so much money. Mm-hmm. Oh, got, yeah, they had a town hall meeting, right? I'm about to say they had a town hall meeting. That's mm-hmm. when your boy Quint was introduced yes. to those gruffy uh, super fishermen. Yes. But I told PJ it's funny because he played the bad guy and uh, from Russia with Love, the second James Bond movie. He looks completely different here. <laughs> Ain't no granted. I think it was like over but ten how years. Many years ten it? years okay. later. I think. Okay. So I think I think from Russia with Love came out like sixty three or sixty four. So it'd have been probably yeah, like, it was like ten years. Damn. But yeah, during the town hall, they're uh, seeing like what they're gonna do about the shark, and then yeah, he tells them like, "I can get you a shark. Yeah. You yeah. Pay me this much money, bitch." Mm-hmm. And of course, they look at him and say, "No." <laughs> Some of the councilmen are, you know, with the shits, but the overall ending of that meeting. Yeah, I think it's the mayor swaying again. Shit. Yeah, the mayor keeps swaying everybody. Yeah, they're like, look, guys, it's the Fourth of July weekend coming up. Like, this is how we eat for the rest of the year. Yeah. No tourists, no money. Y'all niggas is dying. So at the end of this movie, we all know who we can blame. Right. The next day comes. And oh no, I think it's nighttime now. Cause remember they that hunt. There's two hunters out there like at the little boat. Oh, what do you call that shit? Like the, the end of the pier thing, and they got like a big piece of meat out there, and the shark comes and it like breaks apart before. the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the one dude barely escapes because when it breaks, it then pulls him into the water. So he's swimming his ass off trying to get the fuck out of this water. And he Clarence, <laughs> Clarence, it's a fucking shark. Save me, Clarence. <laughs> I want to live. <laughs> Not a wonderful life today, bitch. Ah! <laughs> but <sighs> him and Clarence barely get away. Mm-hmm. And I think one of them said something like, can we please go home now? Yeah. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, and then they were sorry yeah. too because I guess that piece of meat they put in there was like the roast for their dinner yes, or something. Yes. And the guy was mad because he's like, we ain't get the shark order reward money. My wife's going to kick my ass. <laughs> so then the next day comes, right? Yep. And that's what a uh, cat named Matt, little yeah. um, Nat Geo guy, Shit. comes. Like, yeah. I think that's where he said he was from, right? Mm-hmm. National Geographic? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Played by Richard Dreyfus. He looks familiar. Like, I've seen him or something. I just don't uh, know what. I've seen him. <laughs> it's funny enough. There's a movie called Piranha, and it came out in, like, 2011. Piranha. Piranha is, like, 3D. I got it upstairs. I might show this to you one time. Mm-hmm. But the movie starts out with him on a boat. And it's supposed to be like making fun of like Jaws because he gets killed immediately by piranhas and shit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he get introduced and I think he's asking like some assholes on the boat for like directions or he's like telling them that too many people on the boat or something like that. Basically, yeah, basically there's a whole mob that's yeah, that's cause people storming are, the boats. They are mobbing to get this fucking reward money. <laughs> yes, out like they on that shit. Yes, and it made me crack the fuck up because he's trying to tell them something. And they being bitch ass motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. So he turns around and like <laughs> they're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's why I like to do it already. Yes, and then uh, your boy, the uh, what's his Brody? Brody, he's talking to uh, somebody, one of his little chiefs. I or think he's a little deputy. Yeah, and he's walking him coach. back to the cabin, and he's like, "Hey, get your meds. You know, they're out there. They're going to kill they're themselves. They're doing too much. Yeah, before they even get there. Get these bumble fucks out of here, man. And he's uh, he follows them in there, and he's like, "Hey, do you know where Brody is?" And he's like, "That's me. Well, I'm the guy from the." Well, at first he's like, "Hey, what you want? What do you?" Want? Yeah, right. <laughs> that's always what you do. What you hear? He got some like hood shit he did because for that's around the way. You never tell him. Hey, you old school like. Now, what you looking for him for? Who do you? Yeah, yeah what, why who are you? you what you looking for him for? Shit. Um, I got I got these mixtapes. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm no. old school. Like, you always gotta make sure first. You don't be like, hey, you such and such. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, no. A load on a funny story. Oh shit. Um, I had a family member that was into some shit oh, a couple shit. years ago, and I was at Children's <laughs> Hospital. Shady looking cat came up to me, and I we always had to wear our name badges. So he was like, are you related to such and such? I said, no. Nah. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. I've been trying to get a hold of him. I was like, no, nah, I don't even know who that is. Like, no, nah, fuck, <laughs> fuck that, shit. that shit. I don't know what the fuck you looking for. Me for. I'm good. I know what they be into. Mm-mm. Like, it's nah. That's bad. Pro tip. It ain't just for the hood. That's for everywhere. Damn. Everybody listening, don't give out your information so quickly, man. Right. It might just spell your life. I'm trying to say your lies. PSA <laughs> from the Home Video Hustle. <sighs> Down the T-shirt. Right. <laughs> but, um... Yes, yeah, so he get he introduces himself to Brody. He wants to go see the body because they want to confirm that it's been a shark bite or not. Because you know mm-hmm. your boy was saying what he said was like a barracuda. Barracuda, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they go look at the body, do the autopsy, and your boy Matt is shook because he like, bro, this is not no fucking barracuda. This is a fucking great white shark out here. <laughs> and your boy, he's so serious. Uh, what somebody's about to start smoking? He said, "Don't like that." 
And he keeps it was on bro, going he was about his, to start smoking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, in mid sense, he's like, oh, yeah, the body has a contusion. He's like, don't like that. <laughs> and then I go right back to it. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> shit. Yeah. But after that shit go down, they go back out to the pier. You know, all the little hunters is out there and shit. And they found a shark, right? Did they find a shark? Yeah, because they came back and they were... They did. I forgot to write mm-hmm. that down. My bad. Yeah, yeah. They found a shark. Homeboy Matt's like measuring and he's trying to tell him like, yo, I don't think this is the shark. Mm-hmm. It doesn't match the, uh, you know, the marks on the body and shit. And the mayor comes up. Hey, mayor, we found a shark. He hyped. Yeah, right? Open the, the beach back up. Me, right? <laughs> <laughs> we all can live. But he overhears... Um, what is his name? Matt. 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 Tell you know Jody. Look, just to make sure, I say we got him, to make sure we find the boy's body remains. That way we can be for certain this is the monster who did this. Cause right now the way it's looking, the schematics of things, that bite is too small, bro. Mm-hmm. That, that's just not the shark. So let's just be sure. No, fuck that shit. The newspaper came. We are taking pictures, and we're opening these beaches, okay? So, fuck out of here. <laughs> but, after all that happens, like PJ said, um, the little kid that got bit by the shark the second time just now, mm-hmm. his mama come back, and she got, like, funeral garb and shit on, yes. so you know what the fuck just went down with her. <laughs> she, hey, you Brody, right? Or, I think she probably knows Brody. She just said something like, hey, Brody. He turned on smack mm-hmm. the taste out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, she said, like, I know you, you know. She was like, you knew there was a fucking shark out there. Mm-hmm. You didn't close the beach. And she just smacked that motherfucker. After that, she just turned around and left. Mm-hmm. Like, you knew, motherfucker. Right. So, of course, Brody is salty because he did know. Right. He just couldn't shut the beach because the mayor is an asshole. And, of course, the mayor is standing right next to him when he got smacked. Ain't get smacked, though. And he just kind of looks away like, ooh. <laughs> right. Glad he wasn't me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we cut to uh, the family scene. He's back yeah. at his house and shit. Having dinner, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Matt, hey. pop, well, first he's, he's staring at his son, and his son and is his just, son, like, playing and shit. He's in a sucking, sunken place right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, damn, I am responsible for that shit. Uh-huh. And his uh, son gets him to laugh. He says, give me a kiss. He said, why? Because I need it. Yeah. That's why. So he gives him a kiss, and then the knock on the door. Here comes Matt. It's Matt! <laughs> he got two bottles of wine. I got two bottles. <laughs> oh, you know, the funny thing I read about this shit, too? What? Originally, I guess in the book, mm-hmm. Matt was having an affair with Brody's wife. Oh. And they cut that shit out. Oh. Yeah. So that was popping. Fuck. <laughs> That's deep. That would have been a storyline right and there. I'll save it for the end, but there's another thing that goes with that. I'll wait to the end of the movie, though. Oh, I'll come back to shit. it. When they're paddling I home. I will tell you about it when we get Damn. Damn. <laughs> But uh, they had a scene. He gets his own boy. You know, he's he drinking a wine. They all chilling. Mm-hmm. And basically, he's like, you know, I want to go look at that shark. Yes. So they go to go look at the shark. Had a little autopsy. And uh, I forget what makes them go out to the boat because they find a bunch of shit inside the shark. But I think basically they didn't find a fucking person in there. Mm-hmm. So it's like this ain't the shark we're looking for. Cause there needs to be a fucking finger or something in this bitch. Right. So we can go see. Go he was like, I thought you didn't like water. Well, he was drunk. So I think it's like they so they heard somebody's boat was out there or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they go on and boat. And His man's who was? Yeah, uh, it was somebody who was cool. With. The right. deputy, right? It was somebody. I don't remember who no more. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Somebody knew though. Somebody mm-hmm. that Brody knew. I mean, mm-hmm. in my notes, I wrote boat investigation and I underlined it. And I remember why though, because this is. I remember when we both started to drift slightly. Mm-hmm. That's the <laughs> movie two hours long. And we, you know, here is when we're like, okay, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we both looking at each other like, okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel it slightly. Yeah. But, you know, of course, then they find a fucking dead body, you know, it perks you up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And he goes, he, uh. So then they know, like, something, something fucking went down. He finds a shark tooth, actually. Yeah, it's a shark tooth. Thing. But it floats away, he, he, like, drops it, and that'll come into play later. Yeah. But after all that happens, cut to the next day, the city or town is booming. Everybody oh, yeah. there. Yeah, it's July 4th weekend. That's right. And there are everybody's all over the beach. You know, there's a reporter going around. And the reporter's actually played by the guy that wrote the book, the Peter Benchley dude. There you go. And, um, yeah, there's like some little asshole, some little shit kids out there with a fake shark fin. Mm-hmm. And they end up, you know, causing mass hysteria out in that bitch. Yes. So everybody runs out the water. And they told, uh, he told us before anybody was in the water, what happened? Before anybody got in the water... He told, the mayor told somebody, told one of his oh, coonies, he, co- ho- what is the word? Cohorts. Cohorts. Cronies. Cronies. One of those two. I think I mixed them together. No, I think so. One of his cronies. Hey, nobody's in the water. Look at this. The beach is lined with everybody. Go ahead, take your family, get in the water. Mm, yeah, he was talking, I think he was talking to a camera. They were interviewing him, right? 
Yeah. You know, the TV station interviewing them on camera. He's yes. like, everybody's having a fun time. You know, the water's clean. Mm-hmm. Everybody's happy. And then, of course, the little shit kids do the little shark scare. But mm-hmm. not in the main area, but over in like this little pond area. Where he sent his son. Yeah, his, his kids swim. are over there. Mm-hmm. They got two mm-hmm. kids. One little little dude is in the, playing in the sand. The older one's in the water. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know what the fuck was up with this dude. Like some random pedophile or some shit like runs up to him like, hey, are you guys okay? Yeah. Are you guys all right? Like, whoa, where did we <laughs> fuck out of here, you fucking weirdo? Uh, but thankfully, the shark, you know, he handles this business. Yes. And he knocks the motherfucking pedal out the boat. And I think he eats this motherfucker and he bites his fucking leg and his leg comes off. And this is where I had to bring up the oh, PG man. rating. Because this is PG. We did yeah. not expect to see fucking body parts falling Float off. Float down to the ocean. Like I told PJ, the PG-13 rating didn't come into play until Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And that's like 83 what? maybe? 84 wow. maybe? Because that movie is, I think, that's the movie that made PG-13 become a thing. So it's either PG or R. Yeah, and so you want more money, you gonna go for the PG rating. Mm-hmm. So I guess they had just enough blood, like they were. No, I guess they weren't such pusses back then. They're like, oh yeah, little bloody <laughs> guts ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. So you see, like legs get bit the fuck off in blood all over the water. Mm-hmm. So the little pedo dude is dead, but then his son, I guess, tries to swim away. And I think what happens to his son? Something happens to his son, right? He or he just like barely gets away or drowns. But I think then he jumps in there, and has to get him right. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So he jumps in there and saves his son. That's right. But he wound up being okay. Yeah, because they're cut. They're in the hospital, and you cut to like him being in there, and the mayor comes, mm-hmm. and Brody's like, "Bruh, we got to do something about this shit. <laughs> Hire that motherfucker, Quint, and let's just get yes. this shit done." Yes. Because he, and I don't even he asked me. I think at this point he like, because he asked him, "Hey, you got a pen?" He said, "Yeah," and he just threw some paper down. He's like, "Sign your fucking name on this contract." Right. <laughs> this is, oh, this is when he met him at the uh, at his spot. To all Quint. Yeah. Yeah. After this, yeah, him and Matt go meet Quint at his little boat mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. And Quint's with it. Quint and Matt legit already got beef from the start on yes. site. Cool Fun fact. Yes. The actors that played Quint and Matt have beef in real life, and that portrayed into the characters on the screen. Oh, really? Yes. They apparently didn't like each other very much. Oh, damn. And of course, after all, they, they get all the equipment on the boat, and they set out to sea. And that's basically the end of the first half right. of this movie. Act one, done. And so after that, like that's the first hour. This whole second hour now is just them three on the boat hunting Jaws. And this is, of course, the part of the movie I love the most. <laughs> this shit is, I love this. So, they hook something water out in the water, and, you know, Quint kind of cool, though. You know, he's slowly just strapping himself into the mm-hmm. sea, hooking up his thing on it. <laughs> and, you know, they start reeling something in. Yeah, he, tell, he told him, chum the water at first. Yeah. And he chums the water. Yeah. <laughs> then so he then gets the bite. The jaws appear, and they harpoon that ass with, like, a little be- barrel tether. Mm-hmm. So I guess they. I wasn't like this. Might make it so he can't go like too deep underwater, right? To, uh, yeah, tire him out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it drags him. It drags him. Doesn't it break? First time it snaps. Oh yeah. But he had the. Oh sorry. Yeah, I think. The... No, he let it go, and he said we. He he snapped it, and it went under. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And then he they snapped, just yeah. wait. They waited, and then isn't that the boat scene where it's like, all right, well, that was that night because that was like the whole first day. Yeah, because eventually, well, like after when the night comes, they all go inside. And that's when they're having like their little scar battle and shit. Yeah, like see who got him, Matt and Quinn are going back and forth about who got the scars, telling mm-hmm. all their stories and shit. Mm-hmm. But then shit get real when he asked about one scar. And he talked about how he was on like some kind of like army <laughs> boat or navy boat or something. And shit blew up. Mm-hmm. And he had to swim or some shit like that. So it gets all serious. Yeah, and then they all start singing. I don't remember what the fuck they were singing, but they were singing some something. Navy ho ho ho. Yeah. But then while they're singing, Jaws comes back on that ass like, "Hey, yeah. wake the fuck up." How did they know? Did it start? Did it hit the shit or did it? I, no, it's, it like literally crashed into the boat. Yeah, fucking okay. fenner, like nose or whatever came into the fucking boat. I think. Yeah, yeah, started leaking. And so I think at this point, your boy uh, Brody was trying to call for somebody, and Quint comes in there and smashes his fucking equipment. And your boy Brody's like, "What the fuck you doing, man?" He said, "No, no." He goes out into the. Oh, we already passed that part, didn't we? We passed. What part we passed? We're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh shit! Yeah, we didn't say that part, but yeah. Yeah. That line mm-hmm. from this movie. Yeah. yeah. You didn't the know that came from this movie either. Nope. Ugh. They were throwing the chum. When he was throwing the chum out, he looked back at Clint and said something. Fucking Jaws appeared out of nowhere. And that motherfucker jumped back with the quickness. <laughs> My God. And he just slowly walked back into the little inside area. Clint was at. He just said, oh, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Fun fact. Mm-hmm. That was improvised. That wasn't in the script. Oh, yeah. Don't say. Yep. Wow. You made history with that, my friend. Hell yeah. There's another line I love from this movie, too. It comes at the very end, though, because I kept saying it during the whole movie. But, um, yeah, to go back where we were, though, your jaws is attacking the boat. He mm-hmm. smashed the equipment. And they harpoon that motherfucker with another barrel. Mm-hmm. You got two on him now, right? Yeah. Uh, not yeah. I think this is... Because oh. he snapped the first one, so they got one on him oh, again, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, So now they're chasing after him. 
They harpoon him with a second one. And then they actually like uh, take the tethers and they like tie, tie it to, to the, the boat. boat. Yeah. yeah. And then I think, didn't they shoot one at its mouth? I think they hit it with the mouth with a harpoon or they hit it in the mouth with something. Mm-hmm. But if motherfucker broke free, like it started tearing up the boat and it took like the little things that had the ropes tied around yeah. it like broke off and shit. His fucking back got snapped by that shit. He <laughs> got hammered. <laughs> But then at this point, I think Quint's starting to like way lose his mind and shit. Well, he already kind of lost when he broke the fucking equipment. But yeah. He's just like, he's focused on trying to get this shark. Yes. He has become Captain Ahab yes. out of this bitch. Let's Chasing at the Moby shit. Dick. Yes. And so, he, you know, Matt is telling him, like, hey, you can't push the boat so hard. You know, it's kind of fucked up. You push it too hard, it's going to break the fuck down. We're going to be stranded. Mm-hmm. So, what does he do? He pushes it too hard <laughs> and he gets a motherfucking strand. <laughs> fuck that shit. Fun fact. Yes. I'll say it now while I'm thinking about it. Remember when we was watching the movie, you were like, man, they out there. Ain't nothing around and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, as they got closer to the end of the movie, they started seeing like the land and Mm -hmm. shit. He filmed it that way on purpose because he wanted to seem like they were so far out that, you know, there was no escape from the shark. Ah. But once they got closer to defeating it, you got to start seeing more land and shit. I see what he did there. And and then they filmed it a lot of times, like from like, almost like he was like in the water. You see the waves going across the camera. He wanted to feel like you were in the water with the shark. Ah... Filmmaking. Yeah, I was about to say. Cinematography. We watching some real shit. Damn. Okay. But so the boats broke down, so I guess Matt's like, look, we can harpoon it with this shit I got. I forget what exactly it was. What was the shit they were trying to put in his mouth? The C4. Was that what it was? Yeah. I know they had propane tanks, but he had something he was trying to harpoon into his mouth because he ended up dropping the motherfucking harpoon. Remember? What was that oh, shit? Oh. Uh, Fuck, I don't remember. It was some that? kind of chemical or some kind of shit he was trying to put in his mouth. I don't know. He was trying. It was the whole point. There was when they lowered him, right? Yeah. When they, they, yeah. He was going to go down into the cage and shoot something into the shark's mouth, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But while he's down there, the shark, of course, attacks. <laughs> and he drops the fucking harpoon. And it destroys this fucking cage. Mm-hmm. And so he just got out and swam behind, hidden hot behind some rocks. Fun fact. And this is what I was talking about before. Yes. In the book, Matt dies. He does not survive that shit. Oh. And originally, he was going to die in this movie. But it was something, I, damn, I wish I remembered exactly now, because I read all this shit like a week ago. But it was something like, they wanted the shark to destroy the cage a certain way, and mm-hmm. it didn't. So, since they had to film it a certain way, they just basically was like, well, fuck it, we'll just keep him alive. Because since they'll just have him swim out of it and all uh, this shit. So, he kind of changed it, I think, on the fly like that. Okay. But originally, he was supposed to die. And so, that's the shit with him, you know, fucking with dude's wife and all that, you're going to die at the end of it. Damn. Yeah. That's some shit. So he escapes and then Jaws comes up and like basically crashes on top of the, on the back of the boat. Yes. Like, what's up, motherfuckers? I'm here. And it's dragging the boat downward. Mm-hmm. So Quint slides right into the shark's mouth. Yes. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Got that ass. <laughs> Chomping on your boy. He's screaming like a motherfucker and you hear all the crunching. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, I love this shit. <laughs> yes. And so, of course, Quint is dead as fuck. And Matt Les leaves Brody. And Brody, while he's trying to fight back with the shark, he like, let's loose the little canisters. And one of the canisters goes into the shark's mouth. Yes. And we were told early in the movie that these are highly explosive. So hint the hint hint on what's going to happen to this shark. <laughs> the whole time, I said it like twice. You like, did. Why don't they just use the fucking canister? Multiple times through the movie, he's just like, why don't they just blow it up with the canister? Why don't they just blow it up with the canister? Why don't they just blow it up with the canister? <laughs> I'm like, PJ, just, just wait. Wait, dude. I know, I know how this ends. It. Yeah. So Brody... He's like, basically, the whole shark is almost, I mean, the whole shark, the whole boat is almost underwater. Mm-hmm. He's just like on the top. I, forget, I don't know what the fuck you call it. The top part where like the cell and all that shit be, I think, or whatever yes. the fuck. And he's just like laying sideways. He's got like maybe one or two shots left. The shark, he's shooting at it and he's missing all the shots. He's trying to get the fucking propane tank in his mouth. He is, a, it gets a good shot. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Blows that shit all the way. Shark chunks everywhere. And fun fact, I read this shit online too. The shark in real life would not have blown up like that. The whole thing wouldn't have exploded, just the head would have exploded. If you care about shit like that. So he would have would he have died? Would Brody have No died? no, he would have been alive with the shark. Oh, just okay. whole body wouldn't have exploded the way it did, it would just been the head part, front part, whatever. Ah. Well. But I don't care about shit like that because it's a movie. You're right. <laughs> and then after all that happens, Matt comes back up, like, hey, what's good? I was waiting on you to kill that motherfucker for me. Alright. So they use, like, I guess pieces of the boat to, like, swim back ashore. Yeah, little buoy things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're just riding on back, you know, having their little banter and shit. Mm-hmm. And then the end credits. Yeah. That is job. It seems like it was so much more. I know, right? That's the it thing is. I was telling you when we was watching the movie. I'm like, it's two hours and four minutes long, but it's a simple-ass plot. Yeah. And I had a feeling we was going to get through it quick because, I mean, it's like the shark, shark comes attack? to eat people. Yeah. Shut down the fucking beach. Go after shark. Kill it. Black. <laughs> that is the movie. Exactly. So wow. I mean, it's pretty simple, but like I said, it's well executed. Right. Imagine that pitch. I got a movie, guys. It's about a shark. Hmm. 
Well, you know, it led to a bunch of other shark movies, too. This was, like, I think the first, like, big shark movie. I don't know if Piranha came before after this or not, but mm. the original Piranha, I mean. Yeah, and, and, and there's there's Jaws 2, there's Jaws 3, and then there's Jaws the Revenge. So they even led to Jaws sequels, so. Damn. Amazing. And the sequels get progressively worse. Nah, Except for that's... 3, because I fucking love Jaws 3 the way that I love Death Wish 3. Oh. We will be watching Death... You know what? Fuck, I said we bro. We're watching Jaws 3. <laughs> we may even just watch all of us. I've never... Well, I've seen... I've seen three, I've seen four, I've seen most of two. You've seen three, you've seen four, you've seen... I don't know why I have seen the sequels, but not the original. I was about to say, that's... Everybody's getting mad when I said that. You never seen Jaws, but yeah, I've seen Jaws three and four, though. (laughs) Them the bad ones. That's why I've seen them, because I like to watch dumb shit. Damn. Blame Mystery Science Theater for that. Right. (laughs) I just know Jaws 4 got your boy Mario Van Peebles doing a fake Jamaican accent, and it is the best slash worst thing. And the whole plot of Jaws 4 is that uh, I think the shark had an offspring, a son or daughter, and they want to revenge on the Brody family, so it's hunting them down. So the shark wants revenge. Uh, (laughs) Okay. It's the dumbest, Uh, but it's the best. And then Jaws 3 is fucking shark is at SeaWorld terrorizing people. And it's actually SeaWorld. No, SeaWorld is a fucking, you know, attraction where you go see animals and yeah. all the fun wonders of the, you know, SeaWorld sea and creatures. shit. And they let these motherfuckers make a movie where a shark kills people at their amusement park. And it's actually SeaWorld. That shit is crazy to me, man. So they filmed on location I think at they did. SeaWorld. How like, did like that, that work? I don't know. I, like, I guess it's like product placement type shit. I don't know. But Hold it on. just don't seem like that's the thing you would want to attract people to your fucking you know, attraction. <laughs> like, I don't know. Why do I feel like I've seen that shit now? You probably have. If you used to play on AMC, you used to play it all the time. That's where I, I saw it. I might have seen that shit. It's hilarious, man. It's fucking funny. Especially since, since it's not in 3D anymore. Like All the fucking 3D shots look like trash. There's a scene where like the shark is supposed to be floating toward the camera, and they're like, there's a little control room underwater, and they're all it keeps cutting back to them looking like shot, like, <gasps> like all, but then you just cut back to the shark and it's just slowly moving like this, like no joke. This is how fast it's going. Damn, y'all can't see this people. unfortunately, but just know it's going real slow toward the people, and they just as it's moving very slowly toward them, they just keep cutting to them looking shot. Like oh my god, nobody's running. <laughs> They're all just standing there looking shocked. But I guess in 3D, it's coming at your face. Mm-hmm. Even though it's real slow, it's like, oh my God, the shark's coming at me too. Not on TV, bro. Uh. It looks like the dumb. Matter of fact, fuck this. Oh, shit. I'm about to pull it up for PJ. Ah, uh, shit. Where is it at? Damn, damn, it's damn. It's the dumbest shit in the world. Fucking Jaws. Shark. It's the first thing that comes up when you type in Jaws 3. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> This shit is so stupid, man. Ah. That's what what I'm talking about, bro. It's the best. It's the fucking best. We got to watch Jaws 3 one day. Yeah. The Jaws series is a series we got to go through now one day. (laughs) But, PJ. Yes. What did you think about Jaws, though? The original. The Spielberg version. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Had enough death for me. Mm-hmm. It was. Uh, it got boring at certain spots, but he knew how to pick it back up. Yeah, it was only boring for like moments. It was yeah, like seeing yeah, it, it was like just quick moments where you might like, lose quick interest, but then it was gained right the fuck. Yeah, right. Like, all right, we're here. Okay. Uh, it was. It was. I wanted us. Uh, yeah, I give it a. a a seven. Seven. I give it a seven. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, it didn't have me like on the edge of my seat or edge of my seat like that <laughs> eight mark, but it, it was good. Kept okay. my focus. Paid attention. That ain't bad. I mean, people probably would have thought you was going to since you gave Star Wars such bad scores. They probably just think now every big movie PJ's is going to not like. <laughs> so <laughs> seven is all right. Seven is what you gave fucking Return of the Jedi shit. There you go. So which one? This or Return of the Jedi? Which one? This. You? Okay. <laughs> This. With the quickness. <laughs> so Jaws is better than all three Star Wars movies. Still, damn right. I think there's actually people that might agree with you on that, though. Oh. I don't think you'd be alone. I think there's a lot of people that like this movie. They might like it more than Star Wars. Ah. Do yes. you all out there like Jaws better than all three of the Star Wars movies? My friends. Let <laughs> us know. We really want to know that shit. Yes. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I thought it was going to be boring and drawn out by two hours long, but it wasn't. It kept no. me entertained. Yes. I'm going to give it that eight, though. Ah. I'll give it that eight, man. Okay, I okay. I'll give it props. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to have this Blu-ray in my collection. Okay, right? it did it for you, huh? I can say I've seen it before. 
because this is the first Brit and PJ haven't seen episode. Yes. And I remind you that neither one of us has seen John. You're right. And we both liked it. You're right. You're right. Two good scores. Two good Damn scores. Right. If seven for you is good. Yeah. Because right. yeah. <laughs> we've seen what you give other shit. Yeah. Oh, man. It's crazy. <sighs> you know how I noticed, you know, we started doing this show wanting to do like movies that we probably would hate. Yes. We don't hate very many movies, though, man. I think because we're just moviegoers. Like, fuck the plot. <laughs> this is a good, is their death. Are we entertained? Are we entertained? We were entertained this week. Yes, we were. That's what's up, though, man. But next week? <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, next week is the official start of our Black History Month. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Since February is so short, mm -hmm. we're going to start our shit in January. And if you don't like it, fuck up. <laughs> the door. Exactly. If you don't like, you get hit, punched to the floor. Ooh. <laughs> but nah, um, yeah, we got a movie coming that we're not thrilled about having to watch. Yeah. It's been talked about for a while now. Yes, it has. It's been long coming, mm. but we saved it for this moment. Yes, we did. And next week is that moment. I got to find a copy of it. It's not easy to find. Ooh. But it will be found. Yes, it will. Because they don't know who they fucking with out here. I will get what I want, goddamn <laughs> The force is strong. The willpower. Look at PJ quoting Star Wars and he don't like the shit. Well, I guess you I like Return of the Jedi. did just quote Star Wars. You did. I? You quoted shit in multiple songs you've done now, too. I love I that. I have. Yeah. I was showing your songs to somebody. And I was like, look at PJ quoting Star Wars and Star Trek in his song. But I've never seen Star Trek. That was you just... will. That's coming, too. Maybe yeah. at the Black History Month. Yeah, right? Maybe if you guys send us in some movies for our listener appreciation month in March maybe we'll get him to watch Star Trek if you guys send it to us yeah we actually have a list of some good movies it's a whole page like a, I was gonna right. say a whole list a wholesome uh -huh. list mm. it's all a sort of different shit too yes man somebody gave us a hood movie that I haven't seen in fucking years that I forgot about <laughs> And I will, he know who he is, and I'll yes. say thank you, because I hope that gets picked. I so hope PJ picks that out the hat. Yes. Because I want to talk about that shit. We ain't done no real hush in a long time. No, we haven't. <laughs> we no, did we it. have not. We definitely got to get back on that shit. Maybe Black History Month, we'll pick, I, I'll throw some shit in the back, see if you pick it out. Oh, shit. But, yeah, I'm definitely hyped to do that one. But then, so we got some weird shit in there. We got some crazy shit. We got some stuff that we don't want to do, mm -hmm. of course. PJ's mm -hmm. told you about that before, Brendan. Yes. Uh, <laughs> But it's all good because no matter what, we're going to do it. And don't fret. If your movie doesn't get picked, mm -hmm. we're still going to do them. Every movie that we get on that list is going to get done in the future now. <laughs> it because will be. we love you. Yes. It just won't be all, It won't be in March. It'll be later. We'll save them. We'll bring them out on you when you least expect it. There you go. And we'll see if we can survive mm. the listener requests. Ooh. Hey. So, how was your birthday? My birthday was kind of fine. Yeah. I actually did something this time. I usually don't oh, do shit on my birthday. Shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Usually people always ask me, what you doing for your birthday? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to work. That's always what I tell people. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm not going to work. There you go. That's the one thing I know I'm doing. I ain't going to work. <laughs> I'll tell you what I won't do. I'll tell you what I'm not going to do, <laughs> motherfucker. I ain't going to work. Damn. I took a whole week off. All right. And I'm so fucking happy, man. I needed that shit. How did that feel? I feel fucking great. <laughs> Are you well rested? Uh, probably too much. No, it's probably mm -hmm. gonna be rough going back to work. Mm -hmm. It's alright. We'll get it. Mm -hmm. Get these episodes popping. Right. But now, what do we? What I do on my birthday? For my birthday, went to go get something to eat. Went to Mongolian barbecue. Mm. My, you know, that's one of our spots, man. Yes. My Mongol Mongolian barbecue waffle house. Yes. I think those are like the main two. The two, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was me and PJ spots. Do y'all know about Mongolian barbecue? If not, I'm gonna tell you. You go, they got like, what was it like? Yeah, it's like two big ass tray things. Whatever, whatever the fuck you call them, like bowls. No, no, fuck. Where big displays with different types of meat in there. You get a bowl, you put all smorgasbords. The, is that what they call? Them? I think so. Fuck it, I don't know. You go, you get a you get a bowl, you put all the meats in there you want. They got like pork, chicken, shrimp, it's fish, all, raw. all that shit, all raw. Yeah, get whatever you want. Then you go to the next thing. It's got vegetables in it. I would next get, station. Next Food station. station. Thank you. Food That's what I was of. Yeah, it's not smorgasbord, damn it. Uh, <laughs> but you get your vegetables, yeah, whatever else you want to put in there. Cool. Then they got a third joint where it's got all the sauces you want. Yes. Mix all that together in the bowl. They put it on mm. the grill, cooking in front of you. Yes. Take it back to the table. They give you rice and tortillas and all that shit. Yes. Good as fuck, man. Damn, you make me want some BD. I know, right? Fuck. And BDs is Mongolian barbecue. Oh, yeah. It's just case you didn't know. Like, what the fuck is BDs? <laughs> it's not what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll make a joke, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> best dicks. I was going to say big one. Uh, 
<laughs> but um, but yeah, that shit's good as fuck, man. I love Mongolian barbecue. So yes. I went there. Then I want to go see Proud Mary at the movie theater. Mm, how was that? Ah, uh, ooh. I left for I left a short review of it, so a lot of people by now probably already saw what I thought of Proud Mary. But if you didn't see that review on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. I was hyped for Proud Mary. Mm-hmm. Cause I love you know quote unquote black exploitation movies from the seventies, and it looked like it was probably trying to like be a throwback to like the Pan Girl type, cause you know even the lettering in Proud Mary is like the lettering from Foxy Brown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go see that definitely. And you know Taraji P. Henson's cool with me. I got no beef for her. So I went to the movie. And, you know, it started out. They had like the little like seventies graphics with like the the logos of the movie and the names popping up out the screen. I was like, okay, okay, I'm fucking with this already. Okay, okay. And it started out with uh, Papa was a Rolling Stone while Temptations played over the credits. Papa Open the credits. Was a Rolling yeah, and it Stone. fit. It's like I love the way they used it too. Yeah. It was cool. So it's when he dies, <laughs> oh, when he dies. Sorry. No, go ahead, do your shit. You nah, might, that's my it. singer We're good. on the show. We're good. But yeah, it started out fine. And then you know the storyline. It kind of had it started. It had a super generic ass plot, which you know. If it, mm-hmm. if it was freaked the right way, which bo- wouldn't bother me, but it wouldn't freak quite the right way. <laughs> then it was one of those movies where it's like you try to protect a kid, and it's like a shit kid, and I can't stand that shit. So half the movie, I'm just sitting there wishing, like, would you just please kill this fucking kid? Like, just kill him. Let please. him have it. Let him, shoot him in the fucking head. Danny Glover, shoot him in the fucking face, please. Yeah. Danny Glover was like a main character in that movie too. Was he? Yeah. I seen him in a while. Yeah, he's yeah. been doing straight to DVD movies with like Danny Trejo, I think. <laughs> but yeah, he popped up in there. Basically, basically, it was like Black Mafia movie, basically. Mm. And I don't want to spoil it for you, though. It's just basically, it goes the way you it, you expect, you like... After you see it. No, it's like, you know where it's going to go once you see it. Once you get the gist of where the, what the story is, you know how it's going to end. Ah. So it's one of those type of movies. But it doesn't have, it doesn't finesse it the right way. Ah, okay. It's not dripping with finesse. There you go. It ain't make no sense. No. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, but, but I bought it. It has some, like, good action scenes. It's an hour and 28 minutes long, so it's short as fuck. That's good. So that's, like, that's, oh, good. that's, that's the range yeah. for that type of movie. Like, you know, it ain't there too long. Mm-hmm. But an hour and 20 minutes, it ain't really, I don't know, it just, the action scenes it had were cool, but it just didn't have quite enough. Just, like, give me one more big one. It might have been, all right. And like I said, the kid got on my fucking nerves. Taraji was cool. I ain't had no problem with her. Mm-hmm. And then, like I said, the plot twist, quote, unquote, I, I seen him coming. I knew how this shit was going to go. It's just predictable and not that exciting. So but it was, still, but it? it wasn't bad though. That's the thing. It's like it's just like something that you would watch on TV. Ah, you know, one okay, of them type of movies. Okay. You catch when you saw TV, you just kind of catch, catch it. it. Yeah. Okay. When it's at buybacks for like you know two three ninety nine, you buy it. You know, it's one of them type of joints. <laughs> okay. Okay. I gave it a seven out of ten because you know okay. it kept okay. my interest and you know all that. You know. That's good. That's good. But like I said, I would buy it, but I wouldn't buy it no full price. <laughs> Damn. So it's just, man, it was good. It was all right. I just, I was let down, honestly. You know the biggest problem I had with it though, right. more so than the actual movie was the score. Oh, really? Yeah, the music, cause it, you know, the soundtrack. Like so I, I was telling somebody this too. There's a difference between the soundtrack and the score. The soundtrack is like the Temptations and Proud Mary, Ike and Tina and shit. Mm-hmm. The score is the music in the background of the movie that's made for the movie. Ah, you know what I'm saying? I see. Okay. Yeah, and it had just like generic action movie score. Okay. Like With the running little, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, okay, like okay. Just generic okay. ass you know, beats and shit. Mm. And I was let down, like, really, though? You got the. Se- <laughs> like, it started out with the fucking, like I said, the Temptations in the 70s graphics and everything. And I was like, they let yes, you down. This they brought you want. up to let you down. Like, I thought it was going to be something like a, like how, Tar- like, if Tarantino had directed this movie, it would have been exactly what the fuck I wanted. Mm-hmm. It would have been like Jackie Brown. Mm hmm. Like something mm-hmm. like that. That's what I. Okay. That's actually okay. that's more so. Well, more so than Foxy Brown. I thought it was gonna be something like Jackie Brown. Damn, kinda. I ain't seen that shit in a minute. Me either. We need to watch yeah. that one down here. Damn. I don't think we done no Tarantino. We need to fix that eventually. Yeah. Right. What the fuck? We ain't did no Rodriguez either. So we gotta get Desperado. Yeah. Shows. Right. We gotta get fuck. Grindhouse on here. Get them both. Yes. We did get. Well, I'm not gonna say that. It's coming there, man. I'm not gonna Uh-oh. tell y'all. But we got something to that effect for listener appreciation month. I'm not telling you. Thank you, Mike Backford, though. Ah. But, uh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mike. But yeah, yeah. All like I said, primary got seven out of ten. Like, just it let me down slightly, man. If they built you up to let you down. I was saying, if it had a sequel and they didn't have to do all this like introductory bullshit, mm-hmm. maybe it'd be better. But the movie ain't making that much money, so it's probably not getting a sequel. Damn. Would you go see the sequel? I I'd go see it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, but I don't think it's gonna happen though. <laughs> Maybe maybe shit the DVD maybe but I don't, nah. I don't think Taraji I don't think Taraji would do it straight to DVD though. Nah, it's not her steez. Cause she exactly produced the shit so. Ah, nah. I should go support her then. Nah. <laughs> Damn. I mean, like I said, it's like it's, it's worth going to go see once. Okay. Like I said, okay. if you like it enough, like I said, on DVD, you just buy it. But mm-hmm. First, I went with liked it a lot, so. Okay. <laughs> and cried at the end, so. Hmm. Yeah, I ain't get that deep into it. Okay. 
There's your there's your primary review. <laughs> Short hustle right. inside the main hustle. Right. There you go. Shit, you ain't watching that recently? You can talk about shit. You, you got movies at the house? Trespass. Trespass. Tell about that Trespass. That shit. That's coming up on the show one day. Has just give the me a quick review. best spinal. When he falls down. When the, he falls through like the cords and shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I forgot about that shit. That was good. Oh, damn. They got whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, that was like good shit. I fucking shit. love Trespass. I'm tell you what. For future reference, because we're going to do Trespass one day. I'm going to tell you about it. And if it interests you, mm-hmm. go watch the shit. Because we're going to talk about it one day. Yes. So when it comes up, you're like, oh, I've never seen that movie. Now nah, you'll know about it. <laughs> There's some gold hidden inside a warehouse. Mm-hmm. These two firefighters, they find a, they get a uh, map to it from this guy. They're going to go put out a fire. And the guy, he stole the shit from a church years ago. And he, mm-hmm. he feel bad about it. So he hands him the nose. Like, oh, forgive me, I've Jesus. I've never told anybody. Yeah. And he <laughs> runs into the fire and fucking kills himself. Uh-huh. There's a fuck no way to go out. Mm-hmm. And then, but at the same he time. He had a gun in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. They would have exploded too, probably. Ah, With the gunpowder and shit. That makes sense. But, um, but at the same time, Ice-T is the leader of this big gang. Ice Cube is like his main dude. And they're all plotting to go kill some dude that was on some fuck shit. Goose. Goose. Yes. And so they're meeting at this warehouse, the same warehouse where the gold is. So they, mm-hmm. of course, you know, they come together in a bad way. Yes. They see these motherfuckers kill Goose. Spoiler, I guess. But you, <laughs> you kind of know what's happening. It's the first 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> so the whole movie basically is them, the two, the, the two, the two white dudes that went for the gold locked in the room with a bum trying to figure out a way out of there. And their brother. They wound up getting their brother. And they kidnap his brother. I'm trying not to spoil too much. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So because them against the gang guy. Yes. And it just like I said, action shit happens. This is an action movie. It is. It is. Directed by Walter Hill, who does good ass action movies. Yes, it's good. But what'd you think about? I cut you off. What's up? I give it an eight. Okay. No, I'll give it an eight. It's definitely good. We'll we'll see when we get to it. Yeah, yeah. Get in depth. Talk it through it. Yeah, because sometimes it could, the scores can change depending on like me watching it with PJ or by myself. Because mm-hmm. me and PJ can get hype as fuck together, like, more so than my <laughs> yeah. mom myself getting hype. That's why some movies get tens that y'all be mad about. Me. <laughs> why you get at a ten? Because I was hyped with PJ. <laughs> Uh, well, Demolition Man still always gets a 10, so fuck yes, off. It yeah, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Y'all can eat a dick on that shit. Individually and as a group. Exactly. He gets 20 as a group, <laughs> bitch. Combine them together like both trying. Right. right. Megazord. Oh, shit. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in a while. We got to watch Power Ranger movie one day. Mm, mm, mm. I went to the movies and saw that first when I was like four or five years old, too. My brother, my two cousins, they still watch Power Rangers to this day. Mm. <laughs> I stopped after like probably 97. I was about to say, can't do that. <laughs> But that shit's still going. Well, you know, that shit was based off Super Sentai, and that Super Sentai started in, like, the fucking 70s. Oh, fuck. All that old footage is, like, used from that shit. Like, all the, all the new footage for Mighty Boy Power Rangers, like, all the scene with the kids was filmed mm-hmm. for that, but all the action scenes were taken from that old Japanese shit. Oh. Yeah, you ain't know that? No, mm-hmm. I did not. Yeah. That's why the Power Rangers movie looks so different, because all of that was actually filmed, like, for that movie. Oh, but all okay. the TV show shit, all the kids stuff was filmed here, then they just jacked all the Japanese footage. Wow. Yes, sir. And dubbed over it. I did not know that. Yes, sir. What's the blue guy's name? Blue guy? Yeah. Zordon. Zor- what? Zordon. Zordon. He was a face, right? Yeah, just yeah, yeah. a face. Yep. <laughs> Zordon, then a little robot name was Alpha 5. Yeah, Alpha yeah. 5. Fuck. Ay, 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 ay. Damn. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was deep into that shit, man. Good times. We got Lord Zed and Rita. Rita Repulsa. Mm, mm-hmm. Goldar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, I heard these names in a minute. The Putty Patrol, the little gray dudes. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Damn. Time to wrap it up soon. Uh, I don't know. Six thirty. Uh, is... Hello, babe. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Hello, babe. How are you? I am currently in the middle of a recording. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we're about to leave. Like, we're wrapping it up. I told you we doubled up today. You say oh, something. Speaker. You are. I, I was about to tell you. Say something to... Get some food? Nope. The oh. pussy. <laughs> Secured. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> do I leave that in, Shay? Do I, do I leave that in? What? Can I leave that in? Please. <laughs> ha. Secured. 
<laughs> I got you. Okay, yeah, but for real, we're uh, okay. we're finishing up and shit. We wrapping it up now. Okay. What? Uh. Okay. Okay. Tacos. Okay. Okay. All right. She knew what I was gonna ask. <laughs> well, guys, I got some tacos and some pussy waiting on me. So. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Put that on a t-shirt. That, no, no, I'm making a note of that. What the fuck did you just say? Say repeat. I that. got some tacos and some pussy waiting on me. Where the fuck? Did, oh, I'm getting back to my notes. I'm right now. I'm not joking. That's gonna be a t-shirt. Boom. I got some tacos and some pussy waiting on me. Damn right. Want to know how my night's gonna end? That goes just a pussy. Way. I'm not joking. I'm really writing this down. <sighs> That is my that might be my favorite quote for, to ever come from this damn show. <laughs> I'll make sure I'm gonna put your name under there too. You know what you want me to say about if they look at the notes. PSPJ <laughs> spoken none other. Well, Why as you guys heard, I got I got to get his ass home. So if you want to hit us up, yeah, talk about us about anything. You can Where find can us they do that on Twitter? Holler at me at HVH Podcast, capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase I cast. Holler at PJ at Capital P A U L Y, capital P, lowercase J, Paulie P J. Boom. Hit me up. I'll tell him everything. Hit him up. He'll tell me everything. Blah. Boom. And you can also hit us up on Facebook mm-hmm. at facebook.com slash HVH podcast. Mm-hmm. Follow us on Instagram at Home Video Hustle Podcast. And also, one of the more important ones, follow us on YouTube. Yes. Because we put up videos every week. Yes. Every Wednesday. We put up a video showing you what we're going to do on Friday. And it's always a random pick, so we never know what the fuck is coming. So yes. watch that video to know what we're going to do on Friday, because we'll be just as surprised as you are. Yes. And then you can catch all the episodes. Our main uh, podcast source is Podbean, and it's at homevideohustle.podbean.com. Binge that shit like Netflix anytime you want. I'm working on getting all the episodes on YouTube right now. By the time you hear this, they may already be up there. But if not, they'll be up there soon. Boom. And I'll make a playlist so you can just have that shit play at your house. <laughs> Home Video Hustle with you all fucking day. Imagine that. Let your mom and dad hear it. Get your hustle on. And they can hear these quotes sh- such as, I got some tacos and some pussy waiting on me. One of the many great, <laughs> great quotes you'll get from the Home Video Hustle. Oh, shit. And we will leave you with that because PJ has some tacos and supposed to go home again. So I will just tell you this. My name is Brent. And my name is PJ. Have a good Friday. Have a good life. Have a good what the fuck every day you listen to this on. Yes. Go eat some tacos. Go have fun with your significant other. And go eat some pussy. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> so with that, I'll say peace. Peace. <laughs>